What is going on everybody? Welcome to the 20th financial charting tutorial with Python and Matplotlib. This is where we've left off. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start editing uh, this RSI chart a little bit more. Or I guess plot of the RSI. So come over here and the first thing I'd want to do is let's go ahead and take, let's take that volume color, that, and let's use that for our RSI plot. RSI, comma, that. And let's go ahead and make the line width 1.5. Let's see where we stand at the moment. Not the best, not the worst. We'll stick with that for now. We'll probably darken it later, but let's fix up the RSI first. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, let's add those lines, I suppose. So come down to, I guess we'll do it um, right here. We can probably get rid of this Y limiter. We're not going to need that anymore. Um, the other thing we should probably do is this is going to exceed the uh, plot, so we'll do that the typical minus sp colon and minus sp colon. Do we have sp actually defined here? Uh, where is sp? There it is. Okay, cool. So we can definitely still fit in sp there. Um, Okay, so the next thing we want to do is let's draw those horizontal lines. So we'll say AX0 um, axis horizontal line, AXH1. And in the parameters, we want a 70. And in fact, what we'll do for now is we'll take this, and we're going to call this RSI color. And we'll define RSI color now. RSI color equals that. Um, there. Okay. So then we'll come back down here. So 70 and then color equals RSI color. And then AX0.AX horizontal line. We want another one at the 30 mark. And the color for it will again be RSI color. Save that. Um, the other thing we want to do is set the ticks. I don't think we've done any tick setting here. So we'll do that down here. Um, AXO.set underscore Y ticks. Remember how we made this empty parameters at one point? Now what we want to do is actually specify the parameters. So 30 and 70. And that I think we'll cover it. Let's see what we what we got at the moment. Awesome. So there we go. Now we've got a perfect line right at the 70 mark and right at the 30 mark. So you can see, like, okay, oversold, and then overbought, and uh, so on. So now let's see. The only oh dear, go away. The only other thing that we've got is this these plots here. Really, I just want a 70 and a 30. Now, the only thing I can't quite figure out is why those ticks are showing. Maybe because I'm pruning it. So, my goodness. Okay, cool. So now we've got it fixed. So we've got just the 30 and the 70. So yeah, I guess it was that prune because we were getting rid of the 30 and then, it, I don't know, it didn't know what to do with itself or something. I don't know. So, okay, close out of this and close out of this. Now the next thing that we want to do is we can add a filler. So like if it's above or below, like it kind of like fills in the line, right? So the way that we could do that is ax zero dot fill underscore between, and what we want to do is between. Uh, I think we can just take this. Yeah, that'll work. Fill between. Copy that. Date. RSI and 70 right that 70 line and then you want to say where um, RSI minus oh goodness minus SP colon is greater than 70 
actually let's do greater than or equal to 70 comma face color wow I had this caps going face color equals RSI color and then edge color equals RSI color Whew. now the next thing we want to do is do basically the same thing for 30 so we'll just copy this uh, put this down fill between now this time it's gonna be 30 and then it'll be less than or equal to 30 and then the same parameters so we'll save that let's plot that up uh, shoot hold on where where what I'm not quite sure maybe okay where equals that's what we needed to do okay let's try this now that should work awesome so now you can see that where it goes above like it filled it in and maybe later I think what we might do is make like the top line red the bottom line green you know and, and kind of like make it a little cooler uh, but for now that's a basic fill function so that since it's above it fills it in you know it makes it easier to like just quickly glance at it and be like oh okay yeah and so like if you did zoom in on this point uh oh apparently we didn't share a, a, uh, x axes here we need to share the axis can't believe we didn't do that so let's close that in here ax0 let's go over to the edge where's ax0 cool so we'll just add the uh, share x equals ax1 so indeed we will have to put this below um, ax1 so let me just cut that so highlight that entire um, AX0 function and underneath uh, AX1 slap that in share X AX1 hopefully what is the problem officer oh comma after that save that run that okay actually so what we're gonna have to do okay move move AX0 one more time below the whole legend thing so I was trying to do the legend to that and that wasn't working out so now put it below that then add your share axis equals ax1 and now run it looking better okay so now it's actually um, able to do that data now the only thing that we'd want to do is the candlestick we want to do minus sp and volume we also want to do minus SP. So let's find volume. Sure enough. Okay, so that let's let's go ahead and solve that problem real quick, and then we'll cut the video here. So, so copy and paste that uh, minus SP. Come down here, and so you want to do that and that. So to the date and the volume, you want that minus SP. And then also on AX1, uh, where we're actually plotting the candlestick, we want to AX1 stays the same. New array, we want that, and that should do it. So let's let's run this, make sure. Okay, cool. Okay, oh, more more axes and more data. Man, this stuff starts getting really intense. Anyway, just wait till we get to MACD. Um, cool. So I think now we're shared axes. So let's zoom into a spot here. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got the shared axes going on. So that's good. Um, we've got the RSI, we've got the lines on the RSI. We need to kind of darken this a little bit, maybe make this uh, red and green. But finally, we actually have the RSI there. Looks like we're sharing the axes. We've got kind of dim this out a little bit. So the chart's looking pretty good again. Probably to be fully completed, it needs to probably say RSI with 14 in there, and then this to be a little darker, and then the chart would actually look pretty darn good at the moment. Um, but uh, we're not satisfied yet. We want to do a couple of different things, the RSI, and then also we do want to eventually add the MACD indicator uh, to the bottom of this chart. 
So uh, stay tuned for those additions if you are interested. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until the next video.